Picture this, a limo driver, let's call him Eddie, driving none other than President Biden himself to vote in the primary. The day starts off as any other, with the glint of the morning sun bouncing off the polished black exterior of the limousine and the smell of fresh leather filling the air. They're cruising down the highway, exchanging the occasional small talk, when out of nowhere, the limo jolts. Eddie, ever the professional, keeps control of the vehicle, but can't help but wonder what he just ran over. As he glances in the rearview mirror, he sees the biggest donkey he's ever seen sprawled out on the road behind them. Eddie, being a man of good conscience, turns to President Biden, asking if he should inform the nearest farm about the accident. After all, it's only fair. President Biden, ever the diplomat, agrees that it's probably a good idea. So Eddie sets off towards the nearest farm, leaving the president in the limo to mull over his primary vote. The folks at the farm are surprisingly hospitable, inviting Eddie into their home. They feed him, offer him refreshing drinks, and generally make him feel like part of the family. Hours pass in what feels like minutes. Finally, Eddie returns to the limo, where President Biden is patiently waiting. Seeing the limo driver's disheveled state, he can't help but ask, what took you so long, Eddie? Eddie, now a little tipsy and sporting a wide grin, responds, well, sir, they wanted me to celebrate. Turns out, I just killed the biggest jackass in the country. And so our tale ends with a limo driver, a president, and an unfortunate donkey, proving once again that sometimes a simple drive to the polls can turn into a story worth telling.